Hey, welcome to World Entertainment, and we've been given a bit of an update on the planned I Am Legend 2. Yeah, for some reason they want to do a sequel with Will Smith, of all things. How is Will Smith going to be in it? Don't know. Doesn't quite make sense with how the movie ended. Had they gone with that alternative ending, it would have made more sense. But it won't just be Will Smith this time, because Michael B. Jordan is going to be starring in it as well and he's the one who's given this bit of information about where it is and what's happening with it and everyone's saying oh this is promising and yet it's really kind of almost a nothing burger in terms of what exactly to expect and when to expect it it's just more so him talking about being excited about getting to work with will smith so here is what he said this is from Michael B. Jordan. He says, We're still working on the script and getting that up to par. It doesn't have a release date or anything like that. I'm not sure exactly where we're going to be filming that one, but I'm really excited to get in front of the camera with him. Being somebody that I've looked up to for a really long time, to be able to work with Will is something I'm really looking forward to. I'm really excited. So, you're hearing straight off, they're working on the script. Now, as far as I'm aware, there was a script. So, when he's saying, get it up to par, I'm assuming that means they're just doing a few rewrites and whatnot off the script. But the main story may still be intact. Don't know. The fact that there's no release date or anything like that. When he says anything like that, that means there's probably no date to start filming um, this thing yet. He doesn't clearly know where they're going to be filming it. Um, you would assume it would probably take place in New York again, but maybe not. Maybe they're moving it out of New York this time round. Um, but everything that he's talking about really is like, oh, he just can't wait to work with Will Smith. And it's interesting because the first major movie that's going to be coming out with Will Smith since the slap at the Oscars that's coming out is, of course, Bad Boys 4. Which comes out, uh, is it next week? It might even be this week. I think it's next week. Um, and there's literally nobody talking about this movie. No one is out there hyping up this movie. There's next to nothing being spoken about Bad Boys 4. In fact, there's a headline on The Hollywood Reporter that reads as follows. Can Bad Boys Ride or Die jumpstart Will Smith's comeback? The star has been quietly putting out feelers for new roles in recent weeks as the film prepares to open and provide the fuel to relaunch his movie career, or so he hopes. Now, that's the interesting part that they're kind of saying, you know, will this movie actually jumpstart his comeback? Because as I've just said and spoke about, nobody seems to be talking about bad boys for a ride or die as it's called there's literally next to nothing you don't see any videos being put up about people what to expect from it that they're excited about it anything like that the most i've seen is a couple of people after a trailer is dropped and someone sends in a super chat and says hey what do you think of the trailer and the, everyone's reaction has just been meh it just looks meh my own opinion on the trailer is like will smith looks like he's just phoning it in i've said that all along and i continue to say it because he really does martin lawrence looks like the only one who's really invested in it and now they're, they're even talking about possibly doing a fifth one of these movies that's if this one actually lands with audiences like if this thing tanks and none i don't think any of the bad boy movies have tanked but if this one tanks you're not going to say, oh, it's because people are sick of the sequels and stuff. Because you'd be looking going, well, it's only the fourth sequel in X amount of years. And all the rest of them have done really well. You would have to be, without a doubt, saying it's purely because of the slap. Now, people are not ready or even willing to give Will Smith another shot. And it's really interesting that, like, they're talking about I Am Legend 2. But that's on the books and yet it's also saying 
on this headline on the Hollywood Reporter that he's putting out feelers. Basically, he's seeing if any studio is willing to invest in them. Because we know Netflix dropped a couple of movies that were set to star him, including, I believe, Bright 2. I believe that was one of the projects. And they just outright were like, no. Nope. I think there was a couple of other studios that were about to do projects with him that dropped the projects. They were like, no. Nope. And it, again, there just does not seem to be any buzz about Bad Boys. And I think if Bad Boys bombs, like if it does piss poorly, and the main reaction from people, critics and fans are, Will Smith was the problem with the movie and stuff. I don't think we're going to be seeing I Am Legend 2 anytime soon. Or at least, we're probably not going to see I Am Legend with Will Smith. But we'll keep our eyes and ears open to see what develops with this. And see exactly what actually happens with Bad Boys 4 at the box office. And because again, no one seems to care about this movie. There's literally nothing no buzz anywhere about this thing so we'll see what happens so with that like share subscribe you know the drill i'll leave it there for this one so cheers and i'll catch you in the next one